I've talked a lot on my channel about also being understanding of other people. Everybody does have their own life experiences. <clears throat> and in my approach, I've never really had an issue with like turning a friends with benefits situation into a relationship because I never felt disrespected and I never got hurtful type of treatment, right? Like I never, it was never like, you're not good enough for me. One, I never really ask for commitment when I'm single, okay? Um, so, you know, it, it all does come down to you as an individual and what you're willing to persist through. Um, and yes, we're all human. We all have our own life experiences. Maybe somebody is a little bit afraid. Maybe they're holding on to some things. And if you want to be with somebody, you can persist through that, right? I think lately I've been getting a little bit more savage in my approach uh, in the sense that like even in today, in my tweets today, I was saying like become somebody where somebody is willing to put everything on the line for you. They're willing to get over past heartbreaks. They're willing to get over exes. They don't have any fucking excuses. They will do the most to be with you because you are identified in that manner, right? And just being really savage with it in that sense in your mindset, okay? Because I'm seeing some comments where people are getting really hurtful, like responses, you know? And again, and we're gonna talk about this again, okay? We're gonna talk about this again. Before we get into it though, you guys, my background is starting to come together. I have more stuff coming today. I'm gonna have like plants and stuff hanging from there. I'm really excited for this room to come together. Um, and I have a really dope painting I'm going to put it on, yeah, that side. Uh, you know, there's a mixture of men and women on my channel. Uh, but dominantly, it's mostly women that watch my content, which I'm cool with that. You know, I love the girlies. I'm here for the girlies. And, I and you know, with a lot of the things that are going on in the world, I just think that, you know, women deserve so much love and respect and recognition. And... Some of the things that I see online, especially like negative assumptions, like, you know, there's, there's a lot of dating advice online that is very toxic, okay? Um, but in, with all that being said, I do not think that it is a woman's place to ever ask for commitment, okay? Like that, especially if you want to be in a relationship with somebody that steps up to the plate for you, provides for you as a masculine force in your life, like, you know, and I've said this in plenty of membership live streams before, most women on my channel, they want a man that shows up consistently for them, puts in the effort, cares, you know, all the, has that healthy dynamic in a relationship. And it's not that you're just going to take advantage of a man, right? You know, you'll give care and love when somebody shows up properly, right? But leading up to being able to create that relationship, it is not your place to ask a man to commit to you. Okay, I don't know how many times I need to say this, but I'm gonna continue to say it because a lot of, not a lot, okay, let me, let me catch myself. Some of you are doing this and then you're getting responses from men that are like, well, I'll let you know. I don't know, I don't think I'm really ready for a relationship right now. I wanna feel things out, I'm not sure, okay? Like, and, and then some of you are like, okay, I guess I'll wait for him. <laughs> And I get it, you wanna create specific things in your life, but you have to look at your approach, right? Like living in, when we're talking about manifestation, living in the end is who you're being, who you assume yourself to be, okay? But you also have to look at the things that are going on in your reality and, and critically assess how you're gonna to respond to it, right? So if you ask somebody for commitment, okay, first off, we don't even wanna be going in that direction, in my opinion, okay? But second, if they're like, you know what? Hmm, I don't think I'm really ready for commitment right now, okay? I, I'll let you know when I'm ready, okay? Translation, I don't think you're good enough. I'm not willing to commit to you yet. And you need to be honest about that. We need to come to terms with that. We need to accept the reality of the situation, okay? Because the more you deny it, the more you are afraid to look at it, the more it's gonna perpetuate, right? So. Is that like, again, if you wanna persist with this person and turn this situation around, can you? Yes, you can. It's your life, it's your prerogative, you can do whatever you wanna do. But it's not gonna turn around by you sitting here waiting 
for this person to decide that you are good enough. It's not going to turn around that way. That is not living in the end. Living in the end is who do I identify as? I am somebody that gets commitment. I'm somebody that knows my worth and my value. I'm somebody that is respected. I'm highly desirable. I want it in love. Okay. I have plenty of options in love. Okay. If we're embodying that, first off, we're not even going to ask somebody to commit to us. We're going to be in a space where we know that when people approach us, they're going to approach us with that love and that respect. And they're going to see that we are somebody that gets commitment, that is worthy of commitment, that is worthy of being taken seriously. So we're not even going to take that approach of asking for anything. But second, if you get that type of response, you're not going to sit here and wonder, how do I make him like me? How do I get him to want me? How do I, why is he saying this? Like, you're going to objectively look at that and be like, okay, that's hilarious. Okay, like, I don't have to wait for anything. It's funny that you think you're going to tell me that you'll let me know when I'm good enough for you. Like, what the fuck? I'm not waiting for this. I'm somebody that gets commitment. Like, I know my worth and my value. I can do whatever I want to do, respond to this however I want. And if I want to be with you, I'm going to know you're going to come to your senses and step up to the plate. That is living the end. Okay. So I just want to be very honest about that. Okay. Because the moment you come to terms with that and you accept that is the moment you can adjust yourself to actually create the results that you desire because sitting here and sulking over it and waiting for this person and spiraling over them and trying to figure out how to get them to like you is not it. It's going to be, I'm being so honest with you. Okay. I'm really saying this very honestly. Okay. It's going to come across as needy and desperate and it's going to come across as you don't know your worth and your value and you're not respecting yourself, which is why you're getting treated that way. That is what everybody is you pushed out means. You're getting how you're showing up for yourself, which is why you shouldn't even have to ask for commitment in the first place and why there's nothing to wait for. I'm not saying to go out and sleep with a whole bunch of people and not respect your body and, and definitely not that approach, but there's nothing to wait for, right? And so this is where oftentimes people will focus on their self-concept, okay, and they'll, they'll go on this journey of stabilizing their nervous system and adopting new routines in their day and going out on dates and experiencing people that do treat them properly. They stop waiting for something and they persist in the knowing that this particular person is going to show up for them. And they use these experiences with these other men or women to start to confirm this new way of identifying. Then they're able to reapproach this other relationship where the approach may have been off at the beginning. Okay. Because yeah, the reality of the situation is, you know, maybe you didn't know your worth and your value. Maybe you didn't approach the situation properly and it just didn't create a desirable dynamic. If you want to fix that, that's your prerogative. But this is why typically when people take that approach of, you know, fuck this, I'm not waiting for shit. I'm going to embody this version of me. I'm going to embrace different experiences. I'm going to adopt new beliefs. I'm going to adopt new routines. I'm going to start taking better care of myself and I'm going to know this into being. That's why things turn around because they're not waiting. Okay. But I like, when I see questions asked to me and people are saying, you know, he pretty much told, like I asked for commitment and he told me he's having a good time. He doesn't want to, to get a serious commitment because he doesn't want to ruin the friendship that we have. What is that shit? It's an excuse. It is an excuse. Okay. I'm just being honest with you. It is an excuse because somebody like that is really into you. It, there's nothing to mess up there. We, we want the progression to go in that direction, right? Like that's not something you have to ask for. Okay. And I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm not saying that it can't change, but it is an excuse. There's a reason why you're getting that excuse. Okay. So instead, like you got to really look at how you're valuing yourself because there are plenty of people that again, they will meet somebody and somebody just does the most to be with them without having to ask for it. That is not unreasonable. That is something you can create for yourself. You can become somebody where people will go to great heights to show how much they care about you without having to ask for it. That should be your normal experience. That is where you want to look at. Okay. You know, maybe I haven't valued myself properly. Maybe I've placed people on pedestals. Maybe I've chased after people. Maybe I have, you know, been a little bit desperate. Okay. Maybe I didn't have the best beliefs about men or whatever it may be or women. Okay. Now, instead of getting frustrated with this thing that's going on and this, this response that's showing up in my reality, how can I organize myself in a way so that how I show up and how I present myself and who I identify as doesn't experience this anymore?
Okay. And sometimes too, some of you are going to get to a place where you're like, fuck this shit. I'm way too good for this person. Like now that I've revalued myself, I see how many amazing options there are that are way better and you go and get something even better. Okay. That's not a bad thing. So again, I'm not saying that in the sense that you can't create the relationship that you desire, turn something around, but you have to be willing to be honest with yourself. It is desperate. I mean, I'm just going to say it here. It is desperate for you to want somebody that is telling you that you are not good enough for them to commit to you. It is a bit desperate. Okay. For you to wait for them to decide, not just a bit. It is, it is desperate for you to wait for them to decide that you are good enough for them to commit to you. That is not how you want to approach this at all. Okay. And I'm just, again, I'm saying this with so much love. I'm saying this to be completely honest with you. I'm saying this so that when you're hearing this, you can, you, you can take this information and be like, okay, you know what? I don't want to sit here. I don't want to wait for this anymore. I don't have to wait for somebody to decide that I'm good enough. How can I begin to organize my day in a new way so that I begin to feel better? I start to realize how many options I have, how valuable I am, how I can spend my time more constructively and start to embody somebody that knows they get commitment, somebody that knows their worth, somebody that knows they deserve respect, somebody that knows that, you know, they deserve a loving relationship where they get amazing treatment without having to ask for it. How can I begin to organize myself in that fashion? What beliefs do I need to strengthen? How can I design my daily routine differently? And another thing that I tweeted about today too, okay, and I know I'm just ranting, I'm going to answer some of the questions here um, that are in the chat, okay? I wrote something else today, which was, you know, you won't get ex something along the lines. It was kind of difficult for me to type. I kind of like tweeted it and then deleted it and retweeted it because I was like, okay, let me see how I can work this. Uh, but essentially, it was something along the lines of like, you won't get excuses from other people when you stop accepting your own excuses. Okay. Meaning, again, it's the relationship you have with yourself. So if you're constantly excusing yourself, oh, I don't feel like doing that. I'm too tired. Oh, I don't feel like doing this. It's too much work. Oh, I don't feel like showing up for myself that way. I'm just going to take a break. You're constantly excusing the things that are going to help you. Okay. Then you're not really fully showing up for yourself. You're not fully respecting yourself. You're not valuing yourself properly. You're allowing your excuses to rule you there. And then you have people around you that are giving you excuses as well too. Oh no, I don't really want to do that. Okay. We want to think about the cause and effect relationship here in the sense of everybody is you pushed out. If I'm constantly excusing myself and I'm not showing up as the, the best version of myself, the, the version of myself that values myself properly, the version of myself that follows through with the things that are important to me, then it kind of makes sense that people aren't respecting me in that same manner as well too, because I'm not showing up as that version of myself. Okay. And so when you're getting excuses from people, I'm not saying that it's right. Okay. And again, there may be things where maybe you are showing up for yourself in that manner and somebody's trying to give you excuses. How you respond to that is going to really show them that you're not going to create that dynamic with them. That kind of relates to the video that I did on the main side of my channel, which is, you know, one of the most powerful words to say no. Right. But for the most part, when you're showing up for yourself that way, it's going to translate for you. It's going to translate. I cherish myself. I take care of myself. I show up for myself. I don't accept my own excuses. I do what I, what I commit to myself each day. I value myself properly. Therefore, it's going to translate in how you show up and other people are going to pick up on that energy and reflect that back to you. It's going to be like, it's going to essentially show up in a way where it's like, I don't fucking play games. Like I'm so desired and so valuable and I know my worth and I have plenty of options and I have plenty of ways to spend my day and, and love myself properly. And that is so attractive and magnetic that you're going to see people approach you with that same level of seriousness, but you have to be willing to be serious with yourself in that way. And that's where mindset is really important. Okay. So when we're talking about routines and how you're showing up in your day, this first begins with mindset. That's why nervous system regulation is important. That's why adjusting your beliefs is important because once you get into a really healthy, good, well-rounded belief system, showing up consistently in that way is going to become your normal. Your behaviors are going to start to naturally match this identity. So it's not about trying to necessarily force yourself to be somebody. This is where the mindset and the internal stuff is so important because by the time you 
idea. And even that is going to feel like a little bit of effort, right? So if you're not feeling that great, you're not going to want to sit down and do breath work. You're not going to want to sit down and do short little meditations to adjust beliefs. You're not going to want to like do these kind of like base, more basic ish kind of things to get yourself into a better place. By the time you do that and you get the discipline to do that though, you're going to notice that those behaviors and the routines that you set up for your day and the way you value your time and how you are showing up is gonna naturally begin to align.